I want to respond, get a response to the GOP response. I've got Democratic Congressman Mike Quigley of Illinois. He's a member of the House Intelligence Committee. Uh, Congressman, good to see you. Uh, there, is, you. Uh, there is guilt by some sort of association here with a lot of Republicans saying, particularly those who think, uh, 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 talk a lot about Benghazi, associating Susan Rice with that and saying that Susan Rice can't, can't be trusted. The bottom line here is that Susan Rice, as National Security Advisor, had the right to ask for four names to be unmasked, uh, and, and she's not actually the one who grants that right, the intelligence agency would. So nothing That's illegal has been, has been alleged. No, and it's interesting, Chairman Nunez, when this all began, said well, what he saw, there was nothing illegal, there was nothing about Russia, it was all incidental. This is the latest in what I'd have to describe as a three-prong attack, a deflect, delay, distract. Uh, it began with the president's extraordinary allegation that President Obama wiretapped Trump Tower, and then Chairman Nunez's uh, midnight excursion, uh, and the cancellation of the public hearing after the first public hearing was so disastrous for the White House. And now, to throw this out, because I, I think they think the American public won't learn that unmasking is not leaking, right? right? That unmasking is not surveillance. This is what we do. You want us to do this sort of thing to keep you safe. So why then, Congressman, are you saying that you wouldn't mind hearing from her at the committee? Why, why, why add fuel to this fire? She has not done anything that anybody has alleged is illegal. Why, why, why bring her in to testify? You know, look, the Republicans have their witness list. We have our witness list. For me now to say you can't have this person on there is inappropriate. All I'm saying is, look, if you think you want her there, fine, she should be there. I think it's a classical waste of time and a distraction. Uh, it is a desperate effort given that the White House is, in my mind, fighting for their political lives over Russia. They can't get past this issue. Uh, it is what the American public wants to know about. The Russians successfully attacked our democratic system. The public has a right to know. All right, so there are three issues. The Russian involvement with the Trump campaign, the, uh, the leaking of that information to the press, which would be a federal crime, and the unmasking that we're talking about in some cases uh, based on what we're talking about with Susan Rice. We can agree that the unmasking is not illegal, and uh, to the people who are entitled to do it, it's, it's uh, par for the course. Uh, when it comes to the leaking, how concerned are you about that? If it's not Susan Rice, who do you think it is? Look, leaking is a serious problem. I think anybody that leaks information of a top secret nature should be punished according to the law. Uh, there's no uh, exceptions to that. But what's happened here is the Republicans have become more obsessed with the leaking than the actual problem. So let's go forward. It is one of the three prongs, uh, one of four prongs that we're after in this investigation. But we're also after, was there cooperation? And when I hear the White House suggest that they're just as concerned about whether there was cooperation between Russians and the Trump campaign, I'll know then that we have a bipartisan effort at this research. Congressman Quigley, good to talk to you. Thank you so much for being with us. Representative Mike Quigley of Thank you. Illinois. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.